This is the Arduino based controller that's going to be going on my box joint jig. It's a table saw attachment that makes finger joints. It uses a lead screw to advance a carriage that the work is attached to and every pin you have to advance the carriage about 16 turns so I'm going to automate that process with this device. I have a motor here that is a, a motor from an electric seat belt out of an automobile. I've attached a sprocket to the motor which will mate with this sprocket that will go on the box joint jig itself with this number 25 chain. Attached to the sprocket here is a uh, sensor wheel I've made that has eight magnets and there's a Hall effect sensor here that picks up the passing of the magnet as the motor rotates. This feeds into the Arduino here. This is Diabolino, it's an Arduino clone and uh, the Hall effect sensor generates an interrupt so that the computer can count the pulses and eight pulses will equal one revolution of the disk and one revolution of the disk since I have a 16 threads per inch shaft will equal one sixteenth of an inch. So the resolution of this device should be one one hundred and twenty eighth of an inch. I also have a liquid crystal display here that's two lines by sixteen characters. This small board is a proto board and it has the switches to control the direction and the menu. And this is a motor controller from Pololu. It has a VNH3 SP30 driver chip on it and that chip which is smaller than a quarter can switch 30 amps although this motor only draws about 2 amps I expected it to draw maybe 5 or 6 amps at startup so I needed something more than the common controllers that you can get for the Arduino so let's put power on the Diabolino itself the program powers up in jog mode and you can see it counts, uh, it gives you a count of the number of steps per second that's going to make and it counts of the seconds. If I press the button the motor will advance one step at a time forwards and backwards. And if I hold the button down it will gradually pick up in speed until it runs continuously. If I press both buttons at once the computer will go into menu mode and I can cycle through the three different modes that it has jog mode, slew mode, and set mode. I'll stop it in set mode here. In set mode you can set a number of steps for the machine to take. So in this case it defaults to 32 and if I press the buttons it can count down and count up. 32 steps is going to be a quarter of an inch as indicated by the distance scale on the liquid crystal. Now I press the buttons twice again. I want to go immediately to slew mode. In slew mode when I press the button the wheel will take that number of steps which equates to a quarter inch movement of the carriage. It should give me precise positioning of the box joints.